What is up, Eastern Oregon? This is Dodzy with EO Live Sports, and today I'm joined by EOU Wrestler. We had the CCC tournament this last weekend. AJ Rockwell, he wrestled in the finals. Man, was what, what was that like? Uh, honestly, it was, it was pretty surreal. Um, I've been here before. I never got a chance to wrestle in the conference tournament. Right. And so it was definitely an aspiration all season to wrestle in the finals. I mean, obviously not get second, but it was definitely up there. And uh, it, was, it was cool. It was a cool experience. It was a cool experience to share that with my team. Uh, with my coaches and with the home crowd, it was it was cool. It was yeah. really cool. Um, the the CCC is a tough, tough conference at the NAI level. I would argue that it's the toughest conference in the country. Yeah. Um, your weight class, one of the toughest weights too. Um, what were your at the beginning of the year? What was your goal? Like, wh what did you want out of this year? Oh, man, uh, well, when I when I showed up, I really wasn't in great shape and. Uh, I kind of just showed up and I wanted to prove a point that uh, that I can still do this. I can still hang with these guys. And uh, I didn't really have any aspirations as far as competition. I just wanted to show that I could put my best self out there and uh, produce that through this program. But then as the season progressed, I felt like I just kept getting better. And so then my aspirations kind of shifted. Yeah, definitely. So let's back it up a little bit. How'd you end up at EOU? How did I end up at EOU? Yeah. Oh man. Well, uh, I've told this story a few times, but uh, back in 2017, I was originally here. Um, I graduated in 2017, and I was uh, I transferred here from Oregon State, um, kind of before the season even started. It was just like a weird thing that happened, and I ended up here, and um, I competed for the first term and. I let my grades slip big time. And so then at that point, I took a little break from college, about six years. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, just a little, <laughs> a little bit of a break. Went and uh, experienced, you know, life outside of school, outside of wrestling for once. And then uh, there was always one thing in the back of my head. Um, and that was, you know, I spent 18 plus years of my life invested into this sport and I felt like I left this stone unturned and I wanted to come back here, specifically here, because I felt like I needed to prove that to my coaches and my teammates that, you know, I, I can do better and I am better. Um, and so I felt like I owed that to, to Azure especially. So six years later, you come back, you don't know, you don't know what to expect really and you end up Qualifying for nationals. Yeah. That's a great story. Where'd you go to high school? Uh, Boardman over at Riverside. Boardman, Riverside. Um, what What are you going to school for? Like, what, what do you want to do now? You've experienced yeah. adult adulthood, and it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> As you know. Yeah. What, what do you want to do after, after school? After? Now? So uh, I was kind of in the blue-collar line of work, and I do enjoy working with my hands. I don't always want to be the guy working with my hands though, just as right. far as body deterioration and yeah. all that. Yeah, you um, don't last long. Uh, but uh, I want to do uh, home renovations. Um, oh, cool. And uh, specifically um, home remodels, I want to flip houses. Um, okay. I'm already looking to invest in my first house uh, by this next school year Great. here in Legrand, and then remodel it and hopefully be able to sell it for a profit. So how much eligibility do you have? Oh man, uh, I haven't sat down and uh, really looked into it, but I think after this year, I still got two more years. Still got two more years. So, yeah. so you're you're gonna be like that thirty ding. <laughs> yeah. <over. laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. You know, because uh, uh, to the decision to join the wrestling team that was very, uh, very like just right then and there decision. I mean, I decided I was gonna do it the week before preseason started. Nice. I had already been going to school online. Uh, that whole year previous and yeah. then um, I was going to practices and kind of training here and there I went to the US Open with the guys uh, that that uh, spring before and then uh, I was like you know what? I'm gonna try it out and see and it, I mean it sucked but uh, it was it was cool and so what I'm saying is is I make a lot of decisions and kind of spur in that the moment, moment in yeah. the spur of the moment I like to I like to be to improvise, I like to make decisions on the spot because that's really how you feel. You don't overthink it. That's just 
that's how you feel because you're, you know, your gut and your mind, they're going to align in that situation. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you want to flip houses when, when this is all said and done, possibly three more years of, 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 wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, this year, kind of, kind of telling like, what's the teams like the atmosphere around the guys? Like, what, what's how's the camera? Oh man, I'll tell you what, it is it has been a really cool experience being being here now today and experiencing what the team was when because I was here the second year that we were reinstated. Yeah, and just looking at where the program is now and what Azure's done with the program with what the guys that stuck around, guys like. Noe, yeah, guys like Marco, Marco, guys like Luca, guys like Keegan, those guys that stuck Blake. stuck it out. Blake, those guys that stuck it out and saw it through, and helped the program grow. Yeah. And what Coach has done with the program, it's like night and day. It's it's so cool. And the the guys he has in the room are are quality people and quality wrestlers. Oh, we forgot Mar too. Mar, Mar, Mar too. One. Oh man, there's just yeah, there's been solid dudes that have just stuck around and that i mean that goes to show you what kind of coach azure is mm -hmm. i mean the people people want to be around him um for for you let, let's talk a little bit about you personally okay um do you like pineapple on pizza <laughs> i know that's a controversial question yeah, but I, I gotta be in the mood for it i'll be honest i'm not gonna if somebody showed up to my house and they only had hawaiian style pizza You're eating it. i mean yeah you know of course. pizza's pizza man yeah what what's your favorite food my favorite food yeah well, that's tough, but I, I can't go wrong with a chicken fried steak. Oh, that's, that's how I judge a breakfast at a restaurant. Is there chicken so, fried yeah, steak? Yeah, chicken fried steak is the <laughs> breakfast judge, and a Reuben sandwich is the lunch mm -hmm. judge in my eyes. Um, do you have to cut weight? Do I? Yeah, are you, uh, are you cutting right now? I, I do a little bit, but really not that much. So I started out when I first came. I was about 175 pounds. Okay. I wrestle 149 now. Yeah. I was wrestling 157 at the beginning of the season and I was just gradually losing weight. I was weighing around like 155 pounds and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and make the cut down at 149. And I did and I had some success and that first cut was hard, but now it's kind of just natural. I, I honestly eat and drink throughout the week and with the workout regimen that we have, yeah, you lose it, makes, four it, pounds it of makes it easy and I'm constantly refueled. Yeah. And so it's really not like I cut weight. I just I'll skip out on dinner the night before, and other yeah. than that, it's it's easy. So after after you weigh in for a match, what what, what are you uh, what are you putting in your body? Um, so I'll, because I'm a little bit older than the guys, I gotta make sure that I'm putting all the right stuff in my <laughs> body, right? You know, before it was just like whatever, yeah, you know, whatever is right there, I'm eating it. But now it's a little more calculated. Uh, I first I go for the electrolytes, and so I'll 100%. get like a liquid IV. Uh, PD light. I try to stay away from the PD light just because of the quantity of it. And so the, those liquid IVs in a 16 ounce water bottle, that'll yeah. I'll pound that immediately. And then I'll just start throwing water in my body, getting water in the muscles. Rehydrated. And then, yeah. And then the first thing I'll eat is pancakes. Pancakes. Pancakes with honey and peanut butter. You want to stock up, up on the carbs, huh? Yeah. That's. I mean, that's energy. Yeah. It, it makes sense. Um, and and then and then. Say you've had a really hard like weight cut, like you you've gone through some hard weight yeah. cuts. What outside? You know, you said that uh, chicken fried steak's your favorite meal, but what what what's what do you after a really hard weight cut? Yeah, what's mom or dad or girlfriend make that you just you're oh. just like oh dude I gotta have it. Um, so it was, this goes about all the way back into high school, but we had this wrestler mom. She made a breakfast casserole. Oh yeah, and so it was like eggs. Um, biscuits and gravy with sausage and that was the thing I wanted the most immediately after a hard weight cut yeah and that was that was the thing right there. that's awesome um, with with you personally do you uh, if you had to choose one or the other five years in jail or ten years in a coma what would you choose oof ten years in a coma or five years in jail yeah you know what I'd probably choose the five years in jail me too yeah it just because you know you don't want to miss out on life no. You wake up because, so am I coming out of the coma and am I, uh, am I still fully functional? Yeah, or? yeah, but you're still missing out on ten years, 10 of, years life. of life. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of thought you can do in five years. 
you can make yourself better in jail. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can read. You can go to school. You Work can out. lift. Yeah, Meet yeah. People in, in, in a coma, time. you're just sitting there. You know yeah. what I mean? I would yeah. definitely, definitely take jail. Even even if it would be hard, yeah. I, I would do it. Um, what about a superpower? If you could have a superpower, what superpower would you have? Definitely flying. Flying? Uh, yeah, I'd like I'm to fly. I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, I I'm not. I've I've worked a, a few jobs where heights was a requirement. Yeah, no. But uh, yeah, flying. I just I wouldn't mind being able to travel wherever, whenever. You know. Who's your hero? Who's my hero? Yeah. Oh man, I'd say probably my my older brother Hans. Um, he's uh he was really talented at wrestling, and he's we have about a two year age difference, and so we wrestled together in high school yeah. um, he was a four-time state champion out of riverside and uh just kind of like a a model wrestler he was he was a stud um and now he coaches over at riverside and he's just always been that rock and always been that that supporter and he's kind of the person that kind of pushed me to to join the wrestling team and be where i'm at today and so i i owe a lot of thanks to him i like it um do you have your phone with you yeah. What's the last song you listened to on your playlist? <laughs> oh, actually, I know. You don't I, have I, your phone? I do. I do have my phone. I know oh, you exactly know the what song. I was listening okay, to. You yeah, don't it was have to uh, Whiskey in. Glasses by Morgan Wallen. Whiskey Glasses. I, I know that song. Um, okay, so let's talk just a little bit about Nationals, and then and then I got a question to end on, and I'll get you out of here. All right. Um, goal. What's my your goal? goal? All-American. I want 100%. to bring home some hardware. There's no question, right? Yeah. It has to be your goal. Yeah. There's no point in going. I know, I know I'm know. i fully capable of it. My coaches know I'm fully capable of it. It's just all about just performing. When, Executing. Yeah. 100%. Just got to execute. And I know I can execute. We've been working on that. As soon as that finals match was over on Saturday, we were immediately in the wrestling room working on, working on what our game plan was for nationals because, like, you just got to put that – on the back burner. Yeah, it goes. It's got to go out of your mind completely. Because mm -hmm. there's there's bigger things on the on the table than just the conferences. Now that I qualified, I was already thinking about nationals, and uh, yeah, just bring home some hardware. I love it. That, uh, that has to be the goal. Um, last question: If I was a senior in high school and I was thinking about coming to wrestle at UOU, why should I? Why shouldn't you? Is should be the question. Um, <laughs> But uh, the the guys, they're they're quality people. The the coaches, quality people. We got quality wrestling, quality people, and we got a good facility. We have good resources, and if you want your experience in college and in, on on the wrestling mat to be a little more personal, a little more intimate, like you you're getting attention every single day, yeah. and that's the best way to grow. Then you you come to Eastern. Love it. Eastern Oregon, he's EOU wrestler and second place at, at in the very tough CCC national qualifier, AJ Rockwell. I'm Dodzy. AJ, I appreciate you. All right, thank you.